Well, I want to look forward to the Supreme Leader of the Jewish people. I have some thoughts on relationships. I'm an expert on relationships because I've had so very many. Most none of them lasted uh, longer than a year, but that's just given me the opportunity to have lots and lots, and therefore really hone my expertise in these matters and then pass my wisdom onto you. You're so very lucky. So one of the scary things about intimacy and having a relationship is you inevitably reveal pathetic parts of yourself and go delusions about life and uh, it's a lot easier to live with your delusions and not even know they're delusions when you're not in a relationship. But when you have to bounce off someone every day, then uh, and it's a lot harder to maintain your delusions. And uh, kind of frightening in a relationship it can be when you realize in, in so many ways how, how pathetic you are. Uh, I know that my chest tends to flush red. It's like I get highs when I feel like I'm being mistreated. Uh, I can particularly, I like really strong, aggressive, ball-busting women, but I'm really sensitive when women I date do things that make me feel like they're trying to cut my balls off. For instance, we'll, we'll make a date for some event, such as the LA Times Book Festival, and I'm really looking forward to it, and I think she is too. And then two days before, she'll say, oh, I need to run errands on that day. I, I can't make it. I feel like that's cutting my balls off. We've, We've made plans to do something, and uh, then boom. It's like she just throws it away and treats it like it's nothing. Or I'll tell her that I cried one time when we broke up, and she responds, Look, I really like you, but let's just take it a day at a time. And that's kind of ball busting, kind of letting you know that you're not that important to her. And I'm walking down glamorous Reseda Boulevard, in case you're wondering, just passing Hart Street right now, here in the heart of the San Fernando Valley. It's, uh, I think it's July 29th, 2009. So I'm attracted to very high-powered, aggressive, very strong women, mainly women. And, uh, and I find that they're always like, cutting my balls off, like they'll want to drive, like a more feminine type of woman will be more comfortable if I'm driving, but the uh, mainly type of women that I'm attracted to, they, they always like to drive and put me in the passenger seat, which I find emasculating, I find like it cuts my balls off, be put in the passenger seat, I want to be behind the wheel. Another thing about dating these these women is that I find that women are much more dominated by their feelings. So, like if thinking about some of my recent relationships, like almost all the time I was like a seven on a one to ten scale of emotional intensity in my feelings towards her. Like ten is just on fire, crazed about her, and zero was ice cold. So, pretty much a seven, no matter what you do or what would go on. I, She'd do something wrong or the day wasn't going well with her. I was able to put it in context of everything that we'd shared together and all the values and things that we had in common. So I was steady, but women, they're like this. So they bounce around so they can be very loving and passionate one minute. An hour later, they can treat you like you're a dirt. And so it's taken me a long time to learn how to just be calm and emotionally level. And, when they treat me like that, to uh, turn around and walk it off and not, not react, not be really reactive. And uh, that, that's, that calmness, which I've developed over the years, I'm 43, has now served me well. So that, well, 10 years ago, I'd be much more volatile and reactive and issue ultimatums in a relationship and walk away from a relationship unnecessarily and too quickly. Now I can just ride it out. That's how women are. They're emotionally volatile. 
So one thing that I wanted to talk about today was uh, being pathetic. And I'm probably not as cognizant of the, the ways that men think that they're impressing women when they're really just being pathetic. But I am cognizant of some of the common ways that women think they're impressing men, but they're really just being pathetic. Uh, I remember when I was about 20 years old, I had this fling with a 29-year-old woman. And she was very hurt that, like a year earlier, she'd prepared these erotic photos for her husband. He wasn't much interested in them. And I think this is pathetic because if, if her husband loved her, he would not want to see her posing in an erotic way for another man, or even probably for another woman. And second, very few men find their wives to be erotic objects, and very few women in their late 20s um, really stand out as erotic in, in photographs. So it's just kind of a delusion. One of the most common delusions that women seem to need to have is leave their strong erotic hold over their man. This is very rare. The half-life for a sexual relationship tends to be about six weeks. Six weeks in, it's half as strong as it was. And what keeps people together is, is not primarily the, er the eroticism, but the whole, the whole gestalt of the relationship. So while the erotic is important, it's just a piece. And uh, a woman usually fairly quickly ceases to be primarily an erotic object to, to her man. Did you see the movie Elegy with Patricia Clarkson? Uh, remember, she does a strip tease for uh, the, the male protagonist. It was so pathetic. Like, this is a woman who's about 50 years old. 50 year old women, you know, shouldn't be doing strip teases for their men. Very few men will find that erotic. Yeah, you know, the occasional man will, but most men won't. Most men are not going to find strip teases by their girlfriend or wife erotic, particularly as the woman gets into her 30s. Very few women in their 30s look good when they're doing a striptease. They can still retain some erotic component for their man as they move into their 30s and 40s and even 50s, but this won't be demonstrated in usually in a striptease. It will be de demonstrated in his feeling that she values him, that he is the most important thing in her life and that she cares to keep herself up and to look sexy for him. That's what he'll find sexy and attractive and keep his fire burning. It won't be a strip tease or dressing up in sexy garments. Sometimes a man will find it erotic and attractive that his woman dresses up in something sexy for him, but I'd say most of the time he'll just go along with it because he sees that it makes her feel good and makes her feel sexy and makes her feel desired even though it doesn't necessarily do anything for him. So 